Hello. You might remember that when Jesus preached the good news of the gospel to the crowds, he used parables, which are basically stories with a secondary message behind the characters and situations within the literal meaning of the story. A sort of hidden message that was sounding pretty confusing to the ears of his audience. So much so, in fact, that uh, his disciples would regularly ask Jesus in private to explain the meaning of the parables to them. Jesus loved to teach his own disciples and help them understand what he would teach others with analogies and allegories. He would patiently spend time with his disciples and open the meaning of the teaching of, to them privately. And here's the first amazing lesson we can take from Jesus' behaviour with his disciples. Because if you're following Jesus, you can ask him questions on the parts of the Bible that you can find difficult. And if you are earnest enough, he will answer to you from the scriptures, not from uh, uh, this or that uh, famous preacher or from such and such popular commentator. Though these are helpful too, but from the Bible itself. So just ask and you shall receive from your heavenly father. But also listen to what Jesus told his disciples in Matthew 10 verse 27. Whatever I tell you in the dark, speak in the light. And what you hear in the ear, preach on the housetops. I find this utterly amazing on a multiple levels. Uh, because Jesus not only teaches us directly and personally, but he also wants us to share the insights he gives us from his word with others. So if you share with fellow Christians, you will encourage and motivate them to search the scriptures. And this can be a great blessing for both you and the listener. But if you are talking to someone who has not yet found God, you could be the channel that God uses uh, to bring them to Christ. So let's pray that God will give us opportunities to share his marvellous gospel and that he will give us boldness and courage to do so. And if you do not believe in Christ today, stop and listen to that Christian friend or that Christian colleague who is telling you about the salvation that can be found in Christ alone. Or listen to this message and repent. Turn to the Lord and confess your sins to him. He will not refuse you, um, but do not put it off until another time. Because you might not have more time. As it is appointed for men to die once, but after this, the judgment, said Paul in Hebrew, Hebrews 9.27. Or at least we think it might be Paul who wrote that letter. Are you ready to meet God as your judge? And why would you meet him as your judge when you can meet him as your heavenly father and your saviour? Turn to Jesus now.